Kitty Bayers, it's Suzanne A. Wells, and welcome to the Christmas in July edition of Money Making Monday. And I have been away from YouTube a little bit. It's been 10 days since I've posted a video. And you may ask, well, why? What have you been doing? Well, I have been revamping my beginner course in the Premium Library. It is now updated for 2019. It is four hours long, so if you are a beginner or just want to have a mid-year refresh of what's current, you might want to come check out this course. It's divided out into a bunch of different short videos. One thing that's kind of cool is I've added a research section where I'm showing different examples of how to research different kinds of products, also listing basics some information you may not be aware of under the PayPal section, high risk items you don't want to sell that could be problematic later, and then a shipping basics section with some other downloadable documents that are now updated for 2019. There is an assignment worksheet so if you're new to eBay or just learning or plan to be learning in the future you can print out that worksheet and it works through all of the steps in order. So that's what I've been doing behind the scenes, creating the most comprehensive and educational beginner course available to help you make more money on eBay. Okay, so now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Christmas in July. These sales are taken from my Facebook group. We have a thread every Monday where sellers can post their sales what they sold, where they got it, how much they paid for it, and other details about the sale. The link to my Facebook group is below the video if you want to come join us and see everything and post your sales too. Christmas sells all year. Okay, we're going to start with Jody. She paid $27 at Goodwill for this Oogie Boogie cookie jar. Sold in 12 days for $149.95. This is from the Nightmare Before Christmas Disney movie. So she invested $27. It sold for $150 in less than two weeks. So if that doesn't encourage you to list your Christmas stuff, I don't know what does. Then we've got Jackie who bought this cross stitch kit for $4 at a garage sale. It sold for $24.99 and it's going to Norway. And you'll see there's a bunch of craft kits selling in the summer. That's because people buy them in the summer so they have time to make them before Christmas gets here at the end of the year. Ginger bought this stocking kit at an estate sale last week for three dollars. Sold in a few hours for best offer of thirty dollars plus shipping. Here's another kit. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection tree skirt or table cover. Kim says this is her first $100 sale. She bought this at a garage sale for $3 last month. Took best offer of $100 plus shipping after three weeks. And you can see the date of her post was July 15th. So don't listen to the hype that July is the slowest month because this is proof right here anything can sell. Then we've got another Kim who bought an auction box for a dollar. This wool base had a couple of small moth holes but I photographed them and disclosed. Sold for $39.99 in three months. So a dollar, sold it for 40. Christmas item in the middle of summer. Then we've got Brian who is a guy and he's selling needlework stuff. Why? Because he knows it's worth money. So all you guys out there, pick this stuff up because it sells. Don't be shy. It's all about making money. He says, part of a lot of 13 kits I bought in April for $2.67 each. Sold this one for $99.99. This is a Dimensions cross stitch collection also. So lots of needle crafts and kits. This is another one from Ginger. 
bought a few weeks ago at an estate sale for $4, sold for best offer of $35 plus shipping. And then we've got Ruby with a amazing sale. Purchased this at a thrift store for $4, took about two months to sell for full asking price of $150. So just look at these. In the middle of summer, people are paying big money for Christmas stuff. Make note of that. I hope this video will make you a believer if you were not before. Okay, Melissa. She paid $25 for this Hummel figurine. Looks like it's pretty big. And it sold for $125. So if you have it, list it. Corey paid $3 for this at a thrift store, sold for full asking price in a little over a month. This is a vintage 1994 Homco round framed picture. Janae sold some ornaments, paid $3 at a thrift store, sold in a couple of months, going through Global Shipping Program. This is a lot of satin sheen ornaments. Then we've got Wendy who paid a dollar for this nutcracker, sold in three months for $25 plus shipping going to Australia. He was new with tag. Didn't even know Starbucks made bears. Yes, they absolutely do and they're collectible. So this is a Starbucks barista 2012 nutcracker plush little stuffed animal. And you'll notice a lot of this Christmas stuff is going international. So make note of that. Then we've got Sheena who paid $15 at an estate sale for this nutcracker. This is the wizard from Wizard of Oz and it sold for $75 plus shipping. She has three more nutcrackers with a couple that should sell for well over $100. And you can see the date of her post there is July 22nd. Then we've got Savannah who paid a dollar for this holiday paint set at a yard sale and sold it for best offer of $18 in 10 days. So this is a one stroke Donna Newberry acrylic paints kit from QVC. So get those things listed you guys. Don't let that stuff sit around. People are buying these. Lisa paid a dollar at a garage sale sold in a few hours for best offer of $31 plus shipping. This is a Christopher Radco Christmas ornament. Anything Radco usually does very well. Even if it's chipped, broken, I wouldn't say completely destroyed, but I've sold Radco items that like the back of the ornament is cracked or has a little hole in it and it doesn't matter. You can just turn it around and the back won't show. So look those things up. We've got Lisa again, a dollar at a garage sale. Sold Monday after a seven day auction for $314 plus shipping. <laughs> Buyer paid immediately and I'm shipping this morning. That was on July 23rd. Oh my gosh, $300 for a Christmas ornament in the middle of summer. Get that Christmas stuff listed. Okay, Shannon bought at an estate sale for a dollar each. They were in sequential order, so I knew they would sell. Sold for full price of $55 two days after a seller tried to buy them from me with a lower offer. Glad he didn't accept my counter as I would have lost $15. So this is a Hallmark keepsake set of ornaments with Snoopy from Charlie Brown Peanuts and this sold for $55 and she posted this on July 26th and we've got Ginger again bought this at an estate sale hoarders home for $4 sold in about a month for best offer of $70 plus shipping this is a Michael Simon black sweater with sequins and a nativity scene in used condition so think about this a Christmas themed item winter clothing in used condition still sold for $70 in the middle of summer and this is a Hanukkah item but I'm including it in my Christmas slash holiday in July video Max sold this Dawn Drum Fish Menorah bought at Goodwill for $6.48 sold 
in a little over a month for $119.99 plus shipping. So there you have it. Christmas in July. You can make big money. If you've got Christmas stuff sitting there right now that's not listed, that is your assignment. Get it listed. Comment below if you've had any Christmas sales in July and come join my Facebook group and put your sales on the Money Making Monday thread. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!